Hello everybody, what's up? In this lesson we will talk about the parameters related to the brush tip. With these parameters we can change all sorts of properties related to the tip of the brush. But before we get started, let's talk about the difference between a dab and a stroke. A dab occurs when I briefly tap the pen on the graphics pad. This results in the imprint of a single brush tip. A stroke consists of many dabs. As I move the stylus pen across the graphics pad, dabs are added. The combination of all the dabs is what we call a stroke. So now that we have that out of the way, let's start by picking a simple brush like Basic 5. First of all, we can change the size of the brush here. And we can change the aspect ratio too. This is the ratio between the width and the height of the brush. Next we have fade. With fade we can set how hard or soft the edge of the brush tip is. Going to the mask type we see we have three options for setting the fade. Default, Soft and Gaussian. For soft, I can set the curve myself by modifying this line. I can add control points by clicking on the line. I can move them by clicking and dragging them. And I can remove them by dragging them out of the graph. Or I can use Gaussian, where I can set the fade according to a Gauss curve. I also have the choice between using a circular or square brush tip. Anti-alias prevents the pixelization of the edge of the brush stroke. I can activate or deactivate that here. With angle we can rotate the tip. Spikes allows us to increase the number of tips. Density allows us to control what proportion of each dab is colored in. If I pick 50% for example, then only half of each dab is covered. Which part of each dab is covered is determined by a noisy algorithm. With randomness, we can change how evenly distributed the color is across the dab. If randomness is 0%, the color is distributed evenly across the whole area of the dab. If randomness is more than 0%, some parts of the dab will receive more color than others. Spacing allows us to set the distance between the dabs. Usually we want to draw a smooth stroke, but sometimes it can be useful to increase the distance between the dabs. With Auto and Precision we set the quality of the stroke. More precision increases the quality of the stroke but is slower. If you have Auto activated, the level of precision depends on the brush size. I usually don't touch these settings. Ok, we've seen we can change the shape of the brush tip from circle to square, but we can also use a picture as a brush tip. If we click here we see a number of pre-programmed examples. There are some interesting shapes and textures that we can choose from. You can imagine that smoke texture can come in handy using import stamp and clipboard we can even create our own brush tip pictures. We will be walking through how to do this in the examples. Finally we can also use text as a brush tip using this tab. That was all for now. Have fun playing around with your new knowledge and uh, see you later. Bye bye.